Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the relationship guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you wanna learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, that I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website, if you want me to coach you every step of the way, step by step throughout your dating or relationship process and journey, and you want me to become your personal dating coach long term, then I have a special program just for you. Link is in the description below also, and I can help you out personally again, one-on-one -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, go pick up my brand new girls night card game. It's officially out. So if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my girls night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh He's Toxic Period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way, and we gonna jump right into this video, and this video is titled, Your cut off game with men has to be strong. Right, ladies? So you gotta get a lot more strict when it comes to any red flags with the men. You need to learn how to ignore a man, how to cut a man off, how to block a man, how to delete him out your life, out your face, out your memory, out your mind. You need to learn how to walk away forever. You need to learn how to go no contact forever. You got to stop giving second chances. It's so many women that they give a man chance after chance after chance. This man cheat on you, you give him another chance. And what he do? Go back and cheat on you again. You give this man a chance after he lied to you, what he go back and do? Lie to you again. You give this man a chance every single time he disrespect you in your face, you keep giving him chance after chance, and he don't deserve another chance. A lot of these men, most of these men, they don't even deserve a second chance. They shouldn't have messed up the first time. You got to understand, a man knows what he's doing, right? He's a grown man. Don't you think he know right from wrong? He know cheating is wrong. Everybody know cheating is wrong. But he don't care. He going to keep cheating as long as you keep taking him back. Or he know that disrespecting you is wrong, but he don't care. He going to keep doing it as long as you allow it. Or he know that stringing you along and making you believe that one day y'all going to be together and he leading you on and this man don't want to be with you, don't want to commit to you, don't want to make you his girlfriend, fiance, and wife. 
but he want all the benefits of having you around. He know right from wrong. This man know right from wrong. This man know exactly what he doing. This man know exactly the problem that he is causing in your life. He know he doing wrong by you. He know he disrespecting you. He know he don't want to commit to you. And he know it's an issue of what he's doing. But he don't care. As long as you don't care, he don't care. If you let everything slide, see, this the problem. I'm going to tell you the problem with a lot of you ladies. The problem is... You let everything slide. You believe the lies. When this man come back into your life and he say, baby, I miss you. I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. I messed up. Please take me back. Please forgive me. Please just, you know, have me back in your life. I'll do better this time. You know, I won't do it no more. I won't hurt you no more. You know, I promise you can count on me. And you take this man back thinking that he changed because he told you he was going to change, but he really a liar. And you believe the lies. You believe it because you want him to do right or you expect him to do right or you think that this time around it will be better but you have to remember that, you know, once a man shows you his true colors, don't try to paint him another color. I'm going to say that one more time. When a man shows you who he is, believe it. If a man show you, I don't care nothing about you. I'm going to disrespect you. I'm going to just dog you out. That's who he is. And he not going to change. You be trying to change a man and try to fall in love with his potential, all this potential. You know, this man got potential to do right by me, potential to be a great man, potential to love me properly, potential to do all these things, but it's all in your head because he don't got no potential. He ain't showed you nothing but destruction and disrespect. And all this toxic mess in your life that you ain't got to go through. You ain't got to deal with this man. You don't have to, you know, go through what you're going through with these men. You need to learn how to cut a man off the first time he play with you. He know what he doing. You need to learn how to cut a man off the first time he disrespect you. He knew he disrespected you. You need to learn how to cut a man off the first time he dog you out or he think he can play with you. You got to start caring about yourself. You got to start loving you. You got to start, you know, making sure that you don't let nothing slide. A lot of y'all be letting everything slide with this man. When this man do a little bit, you let it slide. He tell a little bitty lie, you let it slide. And they roll into a bigger lie, and a bigger lie, and a bigger lie. Or you let this man cheat one time, he gonna keep cheating on you more and more and more. You let this man call you out your name that one time, now he always calling you out your name. You let this man put hands on you one time, you know, and it start off small. Maybe a little push, maybe a little shove, maybe something like that. And it get worse and worse and worse to the point where it's just, you know, he get real aggressive and it turned real violent, right? And you should not be having to go through that. But it's because you ignored the red flags in the beginning and you kept thinking that it was going to get better and it actually gets worse. Or you kept thinking that this man was actually going to care about you or actually going to do right by you, and he won't. You got to understand that a man will only do what you allow him to do. If you allow a man to cheat on you, if you allow a man to lie to you, disrespect you, put hands on you, cuss you out, don't want to commit to you, don't want to take you out, don't want to treat you right, don't want to do nothing for you, don't want to pay for nothing, don't want to do anything to help benefit your life and he actually making your life worse, you need to leave. You got to leave.
You got to. You have to. You have to learn the power of walking away from a man. You have to know it's so much power in ignoring a man, blocking him, being done with him, and moving on. You got to learn how to move on to bigger and better. It's more men out here. It's better opportunities. It's other things in life than a man. But you so caught up on him because you don't want to lose him for whatever reason. I don't know why you don't want to lose this dusty, crusty little boy. But it's a few reasons. Maybe the sex is really good. And you say, oh, the sex is so amazing. I just can't let this man go, right? Or maybe you're afraid of being alone. A lot of women, y'all afraid to be alone. You don't love yourself. You, your whole identity is a man. And without a man, you don't even know what to do with yourself. Or you need a man to occupy your boring life. You feel like your life is so boring. Your life is so purposeless and meaningless and not fulfilled, you know? So you need a man to complete you because you're really broken on the inside or, you know, you just get too attached to a man because, you know, maybe you got abandonment issues, maybe you got a certain attachment issues, whatever, and you just cling on to a man, right? Or, you know, maybe it's all the time that you invested, you say, Sid, I gave this man sex, I've been cooking for this man, cleaning for this man, I've been doing his laundry. I've been investing into him. I've been spending money on this man. I've been doing X, Y, Z for this man. And I invested so much to make him like me or into this situationship or relationship or marriage that I don't want to see it to go to waste. But it already went to waste. You ain't got nothing to show for it. You've been doing all these grand gestures to make this man like you. And what did you get in return? Nothing. You empty handed. This man ain't put no ring on your finger. This man has not paid for nothing. This man ain't treated you right. This man can't even buy you no flowers. This man can't even do nothing right in your life. What you got this man around for if all he going to do is disrespect you and step all over you and walk all over you and you sit there and you allow him to do it and you know he doing you wrong. You know that he don't love you. This man might tell you, I love you. I care for you. I want to be with you, but he not with you and he don't love you because if he did love you, he would treat you right. If he did love you, he would be with you. If he did love you, you would have a ring on your finger right now. If he loved you. But clearly, this man don't care nothing about you. But a lot of times, it's because you don't care about yourself. If you care about yourself, you would say, wait a minute. I don't like how this man treated me. I don't like the way this man disrespected me. I don't like the way this man talking to me crazy. You know what? I'm going to leave. I got to go. I cannot ignore the red flags. I cannot ignore, you know, nothing because I know that this is not what I want. I know what I want. I know what I deserve. And I cannot settle. I cannot stay here. I need to go, you know, and I need to ignore, block, delete this man out my life, you know? So you got to automatically know and you got to get, you got to get really strict with yourself. You got to get really strict and have boundaries to know this man right here, hey, I don't want no parts in it. And I'm going to remove myself from this toxic situation. I'm going to cut him off. You got to learn how to cut a man off the first time. Stop giving all these chances. What's up with y'all giving all these chances and the man fail every single time? He literally fails you. Every single time you fall in love with potential, ain't no potential. He don't care nothing about you. He just using you or he just dogging you out. And he using you for all the benefits, you know, that you give to him. Your booty. He using you for your booty. 
He using you for emotional support, cooking, cleaning, your time, your energy, you know, your money. He using you for that car that you driving him, you know, are you picking him up or you let him use your car? He using you for that apartment, for that house. He using you for everything you got. But what did you get? You letting this man use you for everything you got. And he got the nerve to still disrespect you. Even though you helping him out, he disrespecting you. And what did you get? You doing all this for what? You with this man for what? How has this man benefited your life? Has he made you better? Has he shown you anything you can learn from? Has he, you know, made you happy? Has he, has he put money in your pocket? Has he been there emotionally for you? Has he been romantic with you? Has he treated you right? You know, no, he ain't did none of that. So what's the point of being with a man that A, don't want to be with you, don't want to commit and dogging you out, and B, that clearly he don't want you. Clearly, he don't care about you. He say he care, and that's why I say you can't always believe what a man tell you. A man will tell you anything to get in your pants. A man will tell you anything to get in your drawers. A man will tell you anything to get the booty. He gonna tell you all types of lies. Baby, you know I love you, right? You know you the best thing ever happened to me. I never felt this way about a woman before. I care about you so much. I love you, girl. You know you my boo. You know you mean so much to me. You know I care about you, girl. You know it's me and you against the world, baby girl. You know I just, I don't know what's wrong with me. I be tripping sometimes, you know. I know I be lying and cheating, but I could do better. Just give me another chance or give me some time to get myself together. Ain't no getting no time to get yourself together. If you not together now, I don't want you to try to get together later. You should have already had yourself together already. He should have already knew that he should not be playing with you. But a lot of men don't try you, so you can't let a man try you. You got to learn how to give a man the cold shoulder. You got to learn how to stop being so, so you care so much. Stop being so careless and start being careful with your heart. You got to learn how to be heartless. A lot of y'all ladies, y'all know how to be heartless. You got to learn how to get a cold heart, how to be heartless with a man, how to cut a man off, how to check a man, how to tell him what it is and what it's not going to be. You need to learn how to put your foot down. And if this man, if in, in the beginning, and if this man, if he act like, you know, he don't care or he messes up with you, then you got to cut him off and leave him alone. Don't let him come back in. Sometimes you got to go no contact forever. Sometimes you got to leave a man alone forever. Sometimes you got to block a man forever and never allow access back into your life again and move on. And then you will find happiness. Okay. So ladies, without further ado, we're going to jump right to this video, right? And per usual, I'm going to give you my top five. Yes. Five steps, five ways how you can effectively cut a man off, leave him alone, walk away from him forever because he dusty, he crusty, he musty, he disgusting, and he broke. And you shouldn't be with him no way. You deserve so much better, but you won't get better until you know you deserve better. So I'm going to teach you how, okay? So we're going to jump right to it. We're going to number one. So number one. The first step, the first way how you can cut a man off, leave him alone, and be done with him forever, and move on to what you deserve in life to be happy. Number one is you have to know your worth and respect yourself. The first step, you want to know the reason why you keep taking this man back after he cheat and lie and disrespect you? You want to know the reason why you keep allowing this man to walk all over you and call you out your name and put hands on you and just won't never commit to you, don't want to make you his girlfriend, fiance, wife. He always got you in this situationship. 
You want to know why you stay? You stay because you don't know your worth. You stay because you got low self-esteem. You stay because you put this man on a pedestal. You stay because you don't love yourself. When you don't love yourself or when you're a people pleaser or a man pleaser or you're a nice girl or you're a pick me, pick me over here, pick me type of woman, then guess what? You will settle just to say you got a man. You will settle just because you feel like this man is, is so much better than you that you don't know your worth. If you know your worth, you say, hey, I love myself so much. I don't even want to allow myself to go through nothing that I don't deserve. But if you sitting there letting this man do whatever, you don't, you don't love yourself. You know, a lot of women, you don't love yourself. You don't know your worth. You, you, you view this man on a high pedestal. You feel like this man is, you know, he tall. He, maybe he got a lot of money. You know, he might be tall, six foot, whatever. Then he got a lot of money, six figures or high five figures, or you meet a millionaire, whatever. He got a whole bunch of money. Or you felt like this man, you know, he just real handsome he real handsome in the face, you know, he look good, you like his beard, you like the way he dressed, you like his face, you like the way his eyes glisten, whatever, you know, and you just feel like you will never find another man like him, or you feel like he just the best man that you'll ever have, or you feel like this man, you know, you just, you're just so obsessed with him, you so sprung over him, you just so desperate and thirsty over this man that you let him get away with everything. You let him get away with disrespecting you. And I'm here to tell you that it don't matter how much money he got. It don't matter how tall he is. It don't matter how handsome he is. It don't matter. None of that stuff matters. You want to know what matters? What actually matters is how that man treats you. That man could be all of that. But guess what? The way he treats you is what really matters. If this man don't treat you right, none of that stuff matters. You know, if this man don't treat you right, if you don't feel loved and appreciated, it don't matter how, how great of a catch you may think he is. He not a good fit for you. And you got to learn how to cut anybody off. It don't matter. You got to learn how to be heartless with a man because he heartless with you. You got to give a man the same energy he give you. The problem is you a nice girl. So when you a nice girl, you expect people to be nice like you. And a lot of men are not nice guys. They mean. They mean to you. They dog you out. They don't care nothing about you. So you got to learn how to be mean too and to give him the same energy. If a man mean to you, then guess what? You be mean to him too and cut him off. Bye. I don't need you in my life. When you know your worth, you know you don't need no man to, to stay in your life. You can survive with or without him. Hey, brother, I don't know what type of women you used to, but over here, you going to act right. Over here, you going to treat me with some respect. You know, otherwise, you can go. I don't need you. You know, I pay my own bills. I got my own car. I got my own everything. I don't need you. I want you as long as you're doing right. But don't get it twisted. I don't need you for survival. I don't need you in my life. I don't need nobody. And I feel like, you know, no, you shouldn't need no man. You shouldn't need nobody to, to complete you or to make you a, a woman that you are. You know, you should need your mama. You should need your best friends. You should need, you know, anybody, a man. You should need nobody on this earth but God himself. God and yourself are the only ones that you can really depend on and the only ones that you should actually, you know, value the most. Everybody else, people come and go. A man come and go. 
Family members, they come and go too. They be fake too. Your friends, they come and go too. They fake too. Everybody around you can turn their back on you. Everybody around you can mistreat you. Everybody around you can play games with you. Your mama can turn her back on you. Your daddy can turn his back on you. Your grandmama can turn her back on you. You should need nobody in your life to complete you. Because any given moment, anybody could change up. And you don't want to be the one that's dependent on people to feed you. Because when you give people the power to feed you, you also give them the power to starve you. And a lot of people, they'll starve you. So you got to learn how to feed yourself. If you learn how to feed yourself, you won't need no man. You won't need your mama. You won't need your, your toxic friends that, that talk about you behind your back. You don't need them because you say, hey, I'm good by myself. I'm good alone. I don't need none of y'all. It's peaceful by yourself anyways. A lot of times, the less people you got in your life, the better. You may feel like, but Sid, it's lonely. I get lonely. You want to know what lonely is? Peaceful. Because when you got too many people in your life, you got too many energies, you got too many people that's toxic, and you got to deal with they mess, and they bring you into they drama, and they causing drama in your life, that's toxic, and you shouldn't have to deal with it. So you got to learn how to cut off anybody. You need to learn how to cut off your mama that's toxic. If she toxic, hey, mama, I'm going to love you from a distance. But I can't have you in my life infecting what I got going on, infecting my mood, my mental health, my life, my happiness. You got to go. I love you from a distance, mama. Your best friend, you've been friends with her for a long time, but you know she talk about you behind your back. Or you know she jealous of you. Or you know she got some shady ways. So you got to say, hey, you know, I, I got to distance myself away from you, you know. Or I might just have to cut you off altogether. Because you not good for my life. I'm trying to elevate and you bringing me down. Or that man, that man bringing you down. So you got to learn how to elevate and not need nobody. Especially not no man. To complete you or to make you feel like you're worth something. You should know that you're worth something without anybody on this earth. you worth something because God said you worth something. Because you said you worth something. So love yourself, respect yourself, and do not let anybody play with you. That's what it's all about. What it's all about is not letting nobody play with you because you don't play about yourself. When you get serious about you... You like, I'm not finna let nobody play with me. You got me messed up and I will remove myself from the situation. Or I will remove you out of my life. I don't need to deal with that. When you love yourself, you say, hey, I like peace. If this man not causing no peace in your life, if he only causing destruction and trauma and drama in your life, it's, it's too much. You gotta go. Hey, I can't afford... All that toxic mess in my life. It costs too much. Anything that costs you your happiness, it costs too much. It's too expensive. If it costs me my happiness, it's too expensive. I got to let it go. I got to cut you off. And when you learn how to cut off toxic people in your life, you know how much better your life is by yourself or with the right few people around you that actually care about you, you feel very powerful when you don't got nobody bringing you down. When you only got people that want to see you win, when you only got people that want to make you great, when you only got people that want to invest into you and build you up and grow with you, that's when you achieve true happiness in life. But if you got people bringing you down and you let them bring you down because you don't love yourself or know your worth, then you'll always be depressed and you'll always let them walk all over you. So stop letting people walk all over you. You got to learn how to be assertive. You got to learn how to put your foot down. You got to learn how to check people. Hey, I don't like what you did right there. I don't appreciate that. Next time you do that, I'm done. I'm never talking to you again. You need to learn how to be heartless with people. Because guess what? People heartless with you all the time. People will dog you out all the time. 
People will lie to you, lie on you, tell on you. People will throw you under the bus. People will talk about you behind your back. People will dog you out. So you got to learn how to be heartless too to say, hey, I don't need you in my life. Bye. You can go. Bye. I don't need you. I'm not about to chase you. What I look like chasing you and, and, and begging for you to be here and needing you. No, you can go. I'm better off by myself than with some toxic people around me that don't want to see me win. Okay, so that's number one. You got to know your worth and love yourself and not let nobody play with you. All right. Number two, the second way, the second step, how you can cut a man off or cut anybody off, especially a man, and learn how to walk away forever. Number two is you got to get fed up with his disrespect. So a man, he going to try you, right? He going to try you. He going to disrespect you. And sometimes, you know, it's only so much you can take, you know? That's why I say you need to cut them off the first time. But I get it. You know, sometimes you might not see the red flags or sometimes you might not know what certain red flags are. You might not know they red flags until they a big, huge red flag and it's real bad, right? But when it's small, sometimes you don't see it. So, but you still feel a certain type of way. So over time, you got to learn that, hey, you know, you start thinking back and putting two and two together and reminiscing like, wait a minute, this man been dogging me out this whole time. This man been lying to me this whole time. This man been cheating on me this whole time. This man been using me this whole time. This man been neglecting me this whole time. He been stringing me along, leading me on this whole time. He got me messed up. The nerve of him, the audacity of him. How dare this man disrespect me in my face like I'm a dummy. Like I don't know what I'm talking about. Like I'm just, you know and unintelligent like this man just gonna treat me like that do he know who he dealing with do he know who i am he he messing with the queen he gonna talk to me like that he gonna walk all over me he gonna cheat on me oh okay i got something for him he got me messed up so you gotta learn how to get that anger get that build up like wait a minute wait you know, because it's a problem. The problem is a lot of you women, you don't get mad. You don't get fed up. You don't get angry. You don't get upset. You let everything slide and you get and you start crying. Why this man cheating on me? Why this man lie to me? Why this man don't want to be with me? Instead of crying about it, you got to say, wait a minute. You want to cheat on me? You want to lie to me? Oh, okay. And that's when you get mad. You get furious. You get fed up. And you say, enough is enough. I'm cutting you off and I'm leaving you. And you'll never talk to me again. When you get mad and you think about all the toxic stuff this man put you through. When you get angry and fed up. And you get frustrated with everything this man said to you. Everything he did to you. The way he treated you. The the all the all the toxic things he put you through when you think about it and reminisce a lot of times that will make you be like, hey, I got to cut him off. I have to leave because he got me messed up and I'm not going to let him play with me. I don't play about me. You know, a lot of y'all women, you got kids, right? You got kids. You would never let nobody talk to your kids crazy, right? You would never let nobody, you know, mistreat your children, right? You would never let nobody bully your children, right? You would never let nobody hurt your children, right? What would you do if somebody hurt your children? What would you do if somebody talked to your children crazy and cussed them out? What would you do if somebody else put hands on your children or that hurt your children or put your children in harm's way? Hey, a lot of y'all women will be willing to go to jail behind your child. 
will be willing to, you know, do anything behind your child. Y'all be ready to tussle behind your child, right? Why you don't do that to yourself? When somebody mistreats you, why, why, why you don't do that for yourself? You'll do it for your children. Somebody, or, or your mama, you know, somebody talk about your mama or somebody try to hurt your mama. You'll be ready to tussle with anybody. Hey, you got me messed up. You got my mama messed up. You mess with my mama, you mess with me. You know, or you mess with my children, you mess with me. So you will defend other people, but why you don't defend yourself like that? Oh, you want to talk to me crazy? Oh, I don't play about me, you know? So I'm not saying you got to tussle with this man, but you get what I'm saying, though. Like, you just fed up, and when you don't play about somebody or you defend somebody, your children or your mama, you got to learn how to defend yourself, too. And the way how you defend yourself from a man is by cutting him off, walking away, and leaving him, deleting him, and never talking to him again. No contact forever. And that will teach this man that, hey, she not the one to play with. And you need to learn how to open your mouth and check a man. You need to learn how to tell a man, hey, this is what it's going to be, and this is what it's not going to be. Over here, you're going to treat me right. Over here, you're going to respect me. You got to learn how to set boundaries. You got to learn how to set boundaries from the jump. Don't let him start, you know, disrespecting you. And then over time, you try to set boundaries later on. That don't work because you done let too much stuff slide already. You got to set boundaries from the beginning. So it don't even get to the point of you getting fed up. You know, but sometimes you got to get fed up in order for you to leave. Sometimes you got to get angry with a man for you to say he got me messed up and I don't like this feeling. I don't like the fact that he playing with me, you know, so I have to leave for your mental health. Sometimes you got to leave for your mental health. Sometimes that job that you at, you know, that job that you do not like going to. Sometimes you got to get a new job and leave that job for your mental health. Sometimes you got to get out your mama house so you can be in your own house to get some your, your mental health and to feel better. And your relationship with your mama will be better. Sometimes you got to leave this man alone forever so you can have a peace of mind. Sometimes you got to cut people off and create boundaries around people to protect yourself. That's all boundaries are, is protection of yourself. So when you fed up, you protect yourself and you get angry and you don't let nobody in that bubble that you created, right? So when you get fed up, hey, if you get mad enough and you think about everything he put you through, that will make you want to cut a man off and be done with him forever, right? So that's number two. So number three, the third way, the third step, how you could cut a man off the first time he played with you, number three is you got to ignore a man, you got to block a man, and you got to erase him, delete him out your life forever. You got to go no contact forever. You got to really be done with him. You know, when you get so fed up, right? First, first, you knew your worth. First, you know your worth and you don't play about you. Second, you get fed up like the nerve, the audacity of this man to disrespect me. Then you say, okay, I'm mad. I'm fed up. I know my worth. I love myself. He got me messed up. Now is when you take action. This is when you take action. You know, now you take action. The action is block, delete, you block him on everything. You block his number. You block his mama number. You block his sister number. You block his best friend's number. You block everybody number that's associated with him. The dog number, the cat number, the goldfish, the turtle. You block everybody number. Everybody got to go, right? You block everybody. Then what you got to do is you got to block him on social media. You got to block them on Instagram, block them on Facebook. If you got Twitter, block them on Twitter. If you got whatever else, you know, dating apps, 
If you got whatever, you know, block them on everything. Block, block them on TikTok if you can. On TikTok, block them. Block them on every social media platform out there. And all his number and everybody's number that's surrounded around him, right? Block everybody. The grandmama too. Block his grandmama, his grandpa. Block everybody number. Because... Hey, I don't want nobody to have access back to me. You don't deserve me. I know my worth and you don't deserve me. And you got me messed up. And I, I'm frustrated with, and, and I'm just in shock that you really had the nerve to cross me like that. So you know what? You'll never have me again. Those are the consequences. The consequences behind this man's actions is leaving every single time. You want to know what hurt a man the most? You want to know how you get revenge on a man the most? A lot of y'all women, you want to get revenge on a man. You say, Sid, how do I get my payback from this man? How do I get my get back from this man, right? The way you do it is, is not, you know, putting hands on him back. It's not, you know, vandalizing his property. It's not, you know doing something else that could hurt him. It's not doing none of that. It's not cussing him out. It's not, you know, doing anything. What you got to do or hurt a man the most is when you got the guts to leave him. When you able to walk away and leave a man and block him forever and he blowing up your phone and he goes straight to voicemail because he blocked or he trying to get in contact with you and he can't because he blocked. Or he knocking at your door and you don't never let him back in because you blocked him out of everything, out of sight, out of mind. That's what's going to hurt a man the most to say, wow, I really messed up and I'll never have this woman again. And I miss her and I'm sorry that I messed up, but she don't care that I'm sorry because I messed up too bad and I should have appreciated her the first time. So that's when this man say, you hear a man say, oh, that's the woman that got away. Have you ever heard that before? That a man will say, you know, that's the woman that got away. That's the woman that got away. She got away. Nah, she didn't get away. You pushed her away and then she walked away and she's done with you forever. She don't want you no more, brother. She don't care about you no more, man. She don't love you no more, sir, because you didn't appreciate her when you had her. And when you don't appreciate something, a lot of times it will leave you. So you better appreciate what you got in your life. You got to appreciate things, have gratitude for the blessings in your life. You was a blessing to this man. And a lot of times a man won't see the blessing until the blessing is taken away from him, snatched away from him, and he'll never have it again. When he see that he don't get no booty from you no more because he blocked. When he see that he don't get your cooking no more. He don't have you folding his laundry, washing his dirty drawers no more. When he see that you not there emotionally no more. When he see that you don't love him no more. You don't care for him no more. When he see that you just done and he can't reach you no more. That's when he know, wow, I really messed up, you know, because a lot of times a man, he, he ain't never think you would ever leave. You know, they say you don't know what you got until it's gone. But a lot of men, they knew what they had. They knew you was a good woman. They just never thought you would ever have the guts to leave him. He just never thought you would ever have the audacity to actually leave him alone and know your worth and never settle for his disrespect. He thought you was a dummy. He thought you was slow. He thought you was going to stay. He thought that you was going to accept all his disrespect like every other woman that he been through did. But no, nah, you got to show him that you know your worth and you're not finna settle or tolerate any type of drama and trauma in your life, right? And he could go, bye, goodbye, peace out. I'm never talking to you again, brother. Now you can go mess around with them hoochie mamas and them chicken heads and them hood rats, but guess what? You'll never have a queen like me. 
And he'll see it because a lot of times he go out in the world and he try to date other women and he always come back to you. Why you think a man always come back? You may say, Sid, why does man always come back? He keep coming back to me. That's because he thought that he could replace you. He thought the grass was greener on the other side. He thought that another woman was going to love him the way you did. He thought another woman was going to put up with what he had. You know, he thought another woman was going to accept him like how you did. He thought another woman was going to appreciate him and cherish him. But no, nah, them chicken heads don't care nothing about him. Them hood rats, they're going to dog him out. So now he coming back home to mama. But mama not home no more. You know, you out in the real world now. So stay out there, brother. You know, so you got to block him, ignore him, out of sight, out of mind. And now you can finally start the process of moving on. When you block a man, you don't just block him so he don't have access to you. You block him so you can have a peace of mind to start the process of moving on and cutting him off. Right? So that's number three. So number four, the fourth step, the fourth way how you as a woman how you can cut a man off the first time he play with you. Number four is you got to date other men. So now that you done blocked this man, you done ignored this man, you done walked away and you went no contact forever because he got you messed up. Now, since he don't have access to you, he blowing up your phone. He can't get you back. He chasing you. He can't get you back. He doing anything he can to get back with you. You not even answering. He never hear from you again. Now he feel real salty, right? He feel real upset that he don't have you no more. He thought he had you wrapped around his finger, but not no more, right? Not no more. And now what you do is you take it a step further. So first you was the woman that got away because, you know, he pushed you away. So you said, hey, I'm gone. Now this man got to suffer with seeing what he could have had and seeing you with another man. So this is when you get another man. This is when you get a better man. Get you a better man. You always want to upgrade. Anytime you break up with a man, anytime you ignore a man, you block a man, you always want to date up. You always want to date a better man than him. Why are you dating down? Don't never date down. Because even if you date down, this man, he going to say, oh, so you could never find better than me. Oh, yeah, you got a new man, but he ain't better than me. Oh, you got a new man, but and you left me, but you got with a square. Or you got with a lame -o. So So you get you a man that's better than him. Get you a man taller than him. Get you a man with more money, especially more money. Heavy on the more money. Get you a man with more money than him. Get you a man more handsome, more in shape, more fit than him. Get you an overall better man. Drive a better car. Got more stuff going for himself. Get you a better man overall that treats you right. And now this man, you know, he might see you on Instagram. You know, he might make a, make a fake page and try to see your Instagram. Or he might ask other people to watch your Instagram for him to get some news back, some word back about what you got going on. And he gonna see or hear that you got a new man. And when he see that you got a new man that's better than him, that's really gonna hurt his pride, his ego, his self-esteem. That's the real consequence. When you are dogging a woman out and she leave you and then she find a better man than you that actually treat her right, a lot of men, they can't handle that. They said, that should have been me. She used to be mine. I didn't think she would ever leave me. And she found better than me. She found a man taller than me, more money than me. And now that make him feel insecure. Because he said, wow, I was really holding this woman back for her true potential. She found her Prince Charming. And I knew I was a little dusty little boy that was holding her back from life, right? So get you a better man and start dating other men. It don't even gotta be one man, date them all, you know? 
you ain't got to necessarily have sex with all these men. I'm not saying, you know, give booty to everybody. I'm not saying that. You know, you do what you want with your body that's on you. But what I am saying is you can date multiple men and not have sex with them. You can go on dates and date and court and vet other men that you don't have to have sex with. You can go on a date. You can go for, you know, to a restaurant with a man and you don't necessarily have to commit yourself to him. That's okay. You know, so if a man, if another man want to take you out, go. If another man want to, you know, have reservation somewhere, go. If another man invite you somewhere, go. If another man want to see you, hey, what we doing, brother? Where we going? Hey, I'm single. Especially if you single. A lot of y'all was single anyways. You know, even with this man, you were still single. He ain't never make you his girlfriend. He ain't never make you his fiance or his wife. It was always a situationship. So if you was in a situationship with this man anyways, you should never cut off your roster anyways. If a man ain't made things official with you anyways, you should have still been dating multiple men and still scouting anyways. You should have still been looking anyways for other opportunities. Don't just settle for one man. Don't just throw all your eggs in one basket and he not even your man. And he don't even claim you, you know? So date other men anyways. Now, if this was your boyfriend or your husband, hey, you know, and y'all broke up or you got a divorce, now you can date other men, you know? But if you was in a situation ship with this man, you should have been dating other men anyways, and then you wouldn't even care. You'll be so much easier to cut a man off when you dating other men. When you dating other men and stuff like that, you can you can walk away so much easier because you got other men to occupy your time with anyways, right? So that's number four. Date other men or get you a better man overall, all right? Number five, the fifth way and the last way how you can cut a man off forever the first time he play with you Number five is keep yourself busy and learn how to live without him. So you got to keep yourself busy. You got to learn how to live without this man. Keep yourself busy. So how do you keep yourself busy, right? So first, you got to, you know, hang out with your friends. Hang out with your family. You know, you got your mama, cousins, aunties, uncles. You can go hang out with them. Brothers, sisters, hang out with them. You got friends, you and your homegirls, go hang out with them. You know, not the fake ones, but the real ones. Go hang out with them. You know, or anything. You got hobbies. You got, you know, activities you could do. You can go read a book. You can go to the gym. You can watch your favorite show on TV. You can watch me on YouTube. You can go rock climbing somewhere. You could go to a nice restaurant, a new restaurant in your city you've never been to before. You can, you know, draw. You can, you know, start a journal, start writing. You can go ice skating. You know, do something. Get out the house. Do something, right? Play with your dog or play with your kids, you know, or do something. There's so much things you could do in life outside of a man it's a whole world out there. If you open your front door and look outside, it's a whole world out there. You can go to the mall. You can go shopping at the mall. You can, you know, do certain things. There's so much stuff you can do in your city other than sitting, being depressed and sad and crying over a man that dogged you out. You over here depressed. You over here in the bed. You don't want to you don't want to get up and do nothing with yourself. You over here in the bed eating honey buns and ice cream and crying and sad. You know, you don't want to get up and do nothing because you sad and depressed. Nah, get up. Get up, get out the house, do something with yourself, get pretty, get dolled up, get your hair done, get your nails done. You know, get get whatever. You know, get pretty. You know, put some makeup on, get out the house, put that nice dress on, 
and go do something with yourself. You know, it's so many other things you could do in life other than waiting on a man or being sad over him or being depressed over him. Don't be sad. You need to learn how to live your life with or without a man. You need to learn how to live your life with or without anybody. You should be able to enjoy your own company. Enjoy your own company. You don't even need nobody. Hang out with yourself. Take yourself out. Do something with yourself. Spend some time to get to know you. How about that? You need to get some time to learn what you like, what you don't like, what you're into, what you're not into. Get to love you, okay? And then you won't need a man or you won't feel bad or you won't be crying over a dusty man that didn't deserve you anyways because you deserve the best, all right? So, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Those are my top five ways how you can cut a man off forever because your cut-off game got to be strong with a man, all right? So, you got to learn how to be heartless and cold with a man and cut him off the first time, all right? So, ladies, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification for me, and I'm out of here. So, to the next video.